Hi guys, I'm Kerry and this week I wanted to have a chat about something I call successful thinking because I've been wondering all week how would we feel about our lives and how would we live our lives if there was no such thing as failure. And myself, like many others, I, I'm, I'm assuming, have heard that old saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Well, that doesn't quite work for me. There's something missing. I have tried, tried again on many occasions, only to feel like I'm making the same mistakes over and over like some sort of lab rat or a Pavlov's dog, you know, never getting to the desired outcome. And it wears you down. And it sets up negative thinking and you're more inclined to give up. So I was thinking instead of that, try, try again. Why don't we think about it more in the terms of if at first you don't achieve your desired outcome, try it again differently. So you have a goal and you make your plans, you put them into action and then there's a result and there's feedback, internal feedback, external feedback. And you might not have achieved your desired outcome but it's your successful first attempt. And here you become adventurers and explorers, covering new ground. And then you become like a philosopher, reflecting upon the new feedback, and then a scientist adjusting that feedback so that the next time you make your attempt, you do it differently. So we moved away from that success failure kind of framework. It's just small successes connecting up to make the big whole success. And I was thinking about that film Groundhog Day with the, the Bill Murray character. He's stuck in this one day making the same mistakes over and over and over. And his goal is to have sex with a beautiful woman. But he's so disconnected from his life and he's so stuck in the one way of thinking, the one way of doing things. And then slowly throughout the film, he becomes less cynical. He starts to learn new things and new ways of being. He changes the way he thinks, he changes the way he feels. And eventually, he changes the way he, he's behaving. And in the end, he realises, hey, I don't just want sex. I want to be loved. I want to feel connected. I want meaning and purpose in my life. So all of these attempts towards his desired outcome actually deepen and illuminate the inner goal that he was trying to achieve. So the next time you do something, don't worry if it's not the desired outcome. It's still a success, providing you go through all of those steps of evaluating and readjusting. And then the brain can form new pathways of discovery and learning. And so it'll be a more positive experience as you attempt your desired outcome. So anyway, have some wonderful and successful adventures until we meet again. Bye now.